Good morning. Welcome to the vlog. Today is Tuesday morning. It is about almost 11. I just got ready, finished getting ready for the day. I have a free people top on, Levi jeans, my new bracelet, Alyssa Danette, Cove bracelet set. I have my hair in a low bun. I'm getting my hair cut tomorrow, so I did not want to do the whole blow dry and curl because she'll just wash it tomorrow. So I was like, you know what? Let me just take a shower and low bun it. So this is my hair today. I just have my Levi's and then Birkenstock sandals on because I'm going to the office today to work with my sister. Yes, I want to show you. So at the end of my last vlog, we were in Costa Mesa. We were at the Crate and Barrel. I ended up buying a couple things, um, two really cute cups, and I'll show you what I bought. Um, we were in the area, so I was like, oh my gosh, yes, Crate and Barrel. I really want to get something there that, I have my, that I've had my eye on. So I'm going to open that up with you right now, and then um, today is basically head out to the office and then come back home and then get Alyssa Danette stuff ready because tomorrow going to the office again and then I'm going to get my hair cut and then I'm going to film Alyssa Danette later at night. So yes, busy day. I have to get everything in order, but I'll take you along with me today. So I'm going to show you my unboxing of what I got at Crate and Barrel. I'll link it down below and then um, I'll take you along with me for the day. Okay, so let me show you what I got. Okay, so we went to Crate and Barrel. I've had my eye on this piece for maybe three months. I'm like, you know what, I want to go and get it because I want to see it there at the store versus just ordering it online. So when we went, they had all their marble on sale. They had a lot of pieces on sale. So this item was originally $79, like $80. I got it for $55. So I'm going to go ahead and show you. It's like a big What was funny was when I did, I asked the guy, I'm like, hey, do you have the specific item? And he checked his iPad. He's like, no, we don't have any. And that's when I saw it was on sale. I was like, oh my gosh, it's on sale. He's like, we can order it for you. He's like, let me go check the back. And I'm like, okay. So in my mind, I'm like, let me just check the floor. You never know. It can be on the floor, the sales floor. So I'm over here looking everywhere for this item. And then sure enough, he's like, no, we don't have it. And I'm like, okay. So I kept looking, guys. I kept looking. I was doing the most. And then I saw it. I'm like, oh, they have it. And then I showed him. He's like, where did you find that? I was like, it was underneath, like, underneath the display. Like, you can see it, but it blended in. So, so this is the item. It's kind of heavy. And Preston was like, it's going to be too big. Why are you going to put this <laughs> back there? Okay, so. And my sister, too, they're like, that's really big. I'm like. But it's beautiful. It, it is big and beautiful. It's a bread box with marble slabs on the side. Let me get closer. Yeah, sure. Preston's actually helping me film. Um, oh, it opens this way. Ha, ha, ha. This is the bread box. Look how cute. Because I, and it's magnetic, I do not like seeing bread bat, like a loaf of bread, um, just on the counter. It kind of just gets me like it needs to have a home and a place. Um, so I was like, we need this press. And he's like, if you can fit it. And even the lady too, when I bought it, she's like, you'll make room. You'll find a way. I'm like, yeah, I will. <laughs> so I'm going to show you how I uh, put that on my counter. And then all the two, I've been wanting, um, two new cups just for press and I, cause it's only us, us two, you know? <laughs> at the so, moment. At the moment. So I was like, you know what? We, I, We've kind of gone through cups, I feel. Like, we just need the right cup when you put water in it and it like still looks clean and fresh. I don't know, it's, I'm funny when it comes to cups. No, I, get... I want it clean and like, I don't know, some you can see like your lipstick or like- Fingerprints, fingerprints or your- Fingerprints and it doesn't look clean. So I got these, we both got, we got two each. They're like blown glass cups, really pretty. I'll link them down below. They're almost like a green. Yeah, they're so pretty. So we got two of these. And they're a little bit bigger they're than the bigger ones we've had. They're bigger than the ones we've had. And I think they're gonna look cute on my open shelf. 
So I'm gonna go ahead and style these and I will show you them in my kitchen. Here's our bread box. Oh my gosh, it actually looks really cute. I'm so excited about it. And then if you open it, we have our bread in there. Now I can get more types of bread because it'll be hidden. <laughs> I got these pretty white flowers yesterday at Trader Joe's. I put my utensils there, paper towels, and then crock pots. Look how pretty, oh my gosh, it looks so cute. Then if you come up here, this is my open shelf unit, and I did put my two new cups there. Kind of, you know, it's kind of fun reworking your kitchen. Just moving things around makes it feel so much fresher. I am doing the white and blue, uh, more like French style for the house. And then I am adding a little bit of sage green. I have my smeg there. So this vlog I'm going to be sharing with you about my smegs. I'm gonna do a smeg review, my coffee pot, my tea kettle, and then my toaster. So I'm gonna do that with you guys. I'm so happy. It just makes my kitchen look so much more clean and fresh. Then I am reworking up here. Like I'm working up on my toppers. Um, my sister's gonna come help me probably in a week or two to work on the toppers. And then I'm working on my restroom. So, you know, it never stops, never ends, but I am so excited about this. And then I'm gonna, I'm looking for like a, a shelving by my TV, like a TV stand. So yeah, you know, it just never, never stops. Okay, so I'm about to head out. I'll show you kind of our meeting and I'll keep you posted with my day. So last night I got in the mood to cook. I tried for the very first time to make a vontiga soup, which is a meatball soup. It's like a Spanish soup, right, baby? Yeah, it's rice and But it's like, I've grown up on this. My mom, um, family would make it all the time. I think my mom would make it. She would. But um, it was my first time, and I feel so accomplished because this is a Mexican dish, and I've had I eat it at restaurants. So I kind of added my own flavor to it. I did um, bell pepper because Preston likes bell pepper. And I did not have cabbage, but usually a bondiga soup has cabbage. But I'm so happy with this. I'm about to eat and head out. But I just had to share with you guys because this was my first time making soup. I've tried chicken noodle soup and I kind of failed at it because the noodles were not the greatest in it. Like they got all mushy and it was gross. But this one was so good. I even had my parents try it. And they enjoyed it. So, cheers to Avon de Gasu. Hello. So, I just got to the offices. I need to apply more lipstick and lip liner because I ate soup. <laughs> okay, so I am applying my MAC lip liner. It's Brick O Law. So, let's put this on again. As I was driving here, I was like, oh my, I was just, I had worship music on and I was like, literally, it's so important to be thankful for everything. Like I was just thanking the Lord for this car. I was thanking the Lord for breath. I was thanking the Lord for just being with me. It was just, wow. I was just, it's so important to just be thankful. So that's what I was doing on this drive. And what's so funny is this car, if you I usually on the on the freeway when I'm driving, you can set your car in um, like cruise control. But the Lexus, when you happen in cruise control, which is crazy, you set it and you can take your hands off the wheel. Um, it will drive for you and it keeps you in your lane, which is pretty crazy. So when I I don't like take it off completely, I like have one hand. But then I catch myself like talking to Jesus or praying, and I'm like. Oh my gosh, I, I forget I'm driving. But thank God for cruise control and it sets automatic and it literally drives for you. But when I'm like, I have to focus, remind myself, Christian, you're driving a car. <laughs> but the best thing about this is like technology now is like getting more advanced that it keeps you in your lane and it drives for you. But yes, I was just like, you know what? It's so important to be thankful. But okay, I just got here. Destiny's grabbing some food and yeah so we are gonna work in the office and I just wanted to tell you that I'm here my lipstick okay here we go Z 
Libra hot chocolates because this office is freezing. Thanks to Brandon for going to Starbucks. Of course. I went to Philadelphia and I waved in the drive thru and then I'm like, I just drove off. <laughs> I told you. Sorry, yeah, I'm kind of I told him that that drive thru is always long, so he went too. That's a good one. What a long day it is. What time is it, babe? It is 7.27. There we go, 7.27 and I left at 12. So, good long day. We ended up doing a, like, good five hours in the office and then um, we went to a couple stores. I found a cute little picture wall art for my restroom. Um, what else did I find? I actually found a cute skirt. I'll probably wear it sometime this week. I will show you that, but it was a good day, long day. I'm about to eat more soup. <laughs> Avondiga soup. soup. I had a great zebra hot chocolate from Starbucks. I wanted something different. Or, Cause I already had coffee. I wanted something sweet. So got a zebra hot chocolate. I'm gonna put my pajamas on and get comfy now. Wait, what's zebra hot chocolate? It's white chocolate and milk chocolate mixed together. Oh. It's pretty good. It's like, it's a really well balanced hot chocolate. And my sister got one too. It was, it was fun, good day. And now I'm just gonna relax, put some comfy clothes on, eat soup, chill with the hubby. And then tomorrow I'm getting my hair cut. I need to take this bun out cause it's kind of like, yeah, it's a little tight. You know, when you have something tight, it's like you just feel it in the back of your head. It's like. Ugh, and it's wet still for my morning shower. So tomorrow, getting the haircut, it's gonna be good. I wanna put some lotion and night cream on my face. I just feel a little dry. So, so yeah, be a good day tomorrow. I'll probably vlog tomorrow as well, just to show you kind of the haircut. And um, I think we're gonna go swimming at Destiny's Place tomorrow as well, cause tomorrow's supposed to be 93 degrees, which is hot for Kelly. Perfect day for <laughs> Okay, well, I'm going to have a good night, and I will see you tomorrow morning. Good morning. It is Wednesday morning. I'm getting ready for the day for Lisa Jeanette, and then for work right now. Preston made us some smoothies in our shamrock <laughs> cups <laughs> these cups are perfect for our smoothies um yes he made us cherry banana Red, wait, no, no. berry blackberry blueberry um almond milk banana and strawberry i think i think every berry <laughs> they're so yummy and good i actually enjoy these smoothies a lot they fill me up and they're healthy. So that's a good thing. We are getting ready to head out right now. I did not do my hair. I just put it in the high ponytail because I'm getting it done today. I'll take you along with me for the day. Just wanted to start off my morning with a healthy smoothie and we are getting ready to head out. Okay, so I have my mom with me. <laughs> we are about to get our hair cut. She's just gonna do my traditional highlights. Her highlights, highlights. yes. <laughs> then me, I'm just getting a haircut because she wants to reshape it. So she told me every two months. Can't believe it's already been two months since we came here. So yeah, I'll kind of show you the process. Um, it probably will be what, mom? Two and a half hours? Yes. And mm -hmm. then um, we got coffee beforehand. Mm -hmm. So we're good. So I'll keep you posted with our hair. shaping my hair right now to just what I used to get like my natural original hairstyle with her it's going back to normal I'm so happy with it let's just look at it like the layers it's just so soft she told me about some great shampoo to wash my hair with 
and also like the serum for your hair. You put it on before you blow dry your hair. So I'm gonna get those new products and then I'm gonna share them with you. I'm at my sister's house right now. Everyone is swimming. So I'm gonna go sit out by the pool and watch them swim. But I just wanted to show you my hair. I'm so happy with it. So, so happy with it. And then we agreed in October, I'm gonna go back and get my hair cut. So I've been going every two months, but now it's gonna go, I'm gonna do four months. So in October, I'm gonna get some low lights in my hair, just some natural caramel low lights. I'm so excited about that. But I just wanted to show you my hair. And actually this tank is so cute. Destiny gave it to me, my sister. She just said it wasn't her color, but it is my color. Then I just have my classic Levi's and some sandals. It is a warm day today, really warm day. So I'm gonna go enjoy the sun and watch them swim. Then we'll probably come back in here, work on Alyssa's net, and then what else? Alyssa's net and some more ministry stuff. So be a good night, but I wanted to show you my hair. I'm so happy with it. Oh my gosh. If you guys are in California, you're looking for a good hairstylist, message me and I can let you know my hairstylist and I'm really excited about it that's why I'm just it just feels so good to have your hair how you like it and where you feel so good so here I am with me my hair all happy okay let's go I'm gonna go see them swim right now for Alyssa Jeanette. It's been a busy day. Uh, we are um, going to do a reel promoting our basic tees from Target. It's for five dollars. Easy, easy find tank. Affordable and we're probably going to be wearing it all summer. I got this skirt yesterday. It's Zara. So pretty. The green. So I sailed it with the skirt and then just sandals and then my Chloe bag. So yeah, we have one more outfit. I'm gonna do jeans, then this tank. We're showing four ways how to style a basic tank. So yes, I'm gonna put jeans on and black heels, so super simple and hair up. picking my outfit out for the day. I'm going to wear these Levi straight denim with the Jeanette's Cove bracelet set. And this new shirt I got at the thrift store for like $3, but it's brand new. It's an open edit from Nordstrom. It actually looks really cute on, so I'm so excited to wear it today. It's like fresh for spring, summer. Yes, it's, it's summertime now, so white. Just looks so fresh and clean. I'll show you this outfit on. Okay, so I'm gonna show you my outfit. I have this top on, Levi's. But I'm gonna change my Levi's for a lighter wash and a little higher rise because you can see my tummy. <laughs> I'm using my new cups from Crate and Barrel. Oh my gosh, a new cup makes me want to drink more water. It sounds funny, but I actually, I'm really picky when it comes to cups. So this cup, I'm enjoying it with water. Um, so yes, I'm gonna show you, I'm gonna film a Smeg review right now. I'm gonna show you a little bit about my Smeg coffee pot, toaster, and kettle. I'm gonna share with you why I like them and how they work and if I do like them. So I'm gonna share that with you next. And then after that, I'm gonna get ready. We're gonna head out to my sister's house that we're gonna to go to um, visit some friends tonight, all of us. So yes, it is a beautiful day outside. Very crisp, 
lightly breeze, which is very nice. So I'm gonna find, put these, change my pants and put some shoes on, then I will show you my full outfits before we head out. Today I wanna to share with you my favorite, favorite, favorite kitchen appliance. And it was, at first I was, I always saw this brand on Instagram or on Pinterest in cute little houses. And I'm like, what is that brand? And so I looked it up and I was literally sold. This product is so cute. It has a retro flair, but it's like you want to leave these appliances out on your counter. In the past, like I would have a toaster and I just be like, it doesn't even look cute out. I'm just going to put it in the cabinet or my coffee pot. It was just like not cute. <laughs> so I ventured out into the brand Smeg. Smeg has literally been so, such a good product. I just wanted to do a quick review and tell you guys because this vlog is a lifestyle. So it's fashion, but it's also a lifestyle. I, when we moved, when Preston and I moved into our tiny home, I wanted to get a cute coffee pot. I wanted to get a new toaster and, a, and an electric kettle. So I went to Crate and Barrel. I got mine at Crate and Barrel and I got them. So my first thing I bought of Smeg was my coffee pot. I just wanted a cute coffee pot. So I got the cream, the color cream, because they have different like pastel colors and then they have like silver. They even have like a bronze and black, but I wanted more of a pastel color. So I got the Smeg coffee pot. It is a 10 cup coffee pot. It literally brews your coffee so fine. Like if you put a fine um, coffee beans, your coffee comes out so smooth. It really comes out smooth. It like helps with the acidity. It just makes your coffee smooth. So this coffee pot, I recommend 100%. It is very nice because it makes 10 cups. I had in Burbank, when we lived in Burbank and in our tiny home, I had a four cup. It was literally so tiny. So having this one, a 10 cup, it is so nice. And the best thing about this coffee pot is you can literally put a timer on and then in the morning you wake up, you hear it brewing and you wake up to the smell of fresh coffee. So this coffee pot, I recommend. It is so nice and so cute, but I wanted everything matching in cream. So <laughs> that was my first product. I got it and it just makes my kitchen it just pops. Then I got the electric kettle. I it took me a while to use this because I was like, it's just so cute. And I get in phases with tea. So right now I'm in a phase with tea. So I use this, I just fill it up with water and um, plug it in, turn it on. And what's cool about this electric kettle is you can pick how hot you want it. So if you want it lukewarm, you can do it lukewarm. You can do it very hot, or you can even just do it just like Luke, just lightly, slightly hot, not too hot. So that's really, I like that because some, um, you just press down and it goes, and it just boils it for you. But this one, you can pick how hot you want it, and then it cools down for you and it stays hot in the kettle. So this, I really do appreciate and like a lot, and especially too when I make like, uh, like a pitcher of green tea and I put it in the fridge so it's like icy. It's nice because I just fill up the pitcher and that's it. So I really do recommend this. I really, really do recommend this. Um, yes, so okay for snack. And also over here with my toaster. This toaster right here is so good. Ask Preston. <laughs> Um, Preston uses this toaster all the time. It makes your toast so crispy and perfect. It really does. Um, you just press down, you put your toast, and it pops up perfectly evenly toasted. And I really like it because you only have to put it on like two and a half and it's the perfect toast. That says a lot because sometimes with toasters, you could it can burn it just so fast. But this one is so good. And then I'll put the bread out and then I toast it and I put the butter and it's like all melted. Like that's how hot your bread and your toast comes out. So I recommend this. It's an Italian brand. 
it's just, it adds that little retro. It, it does look Italian when you think of it and you look at it, you're like, yeah. We were gonna get an Italian, um, an Italian smeg fridge, but we were like, you know what? Let's wait till we get our dream home. Then we can have like a smeg fridge in it because yeah, they are kind of tiny. So you want to get the big one. Um, I am going to get a blender soon, a smeg blender, because we've been making lots of smoothies. Um, so it'd be cute to have a smeg blender, but I'm like, my counter space is running out. They're going to have to start going in the cabinet soon <laughs> before you know, it's just all appliances on the countertops. But I just wanted to share a review because some people ask like, how do you like your smeg? I'm like, I literally enjoy them so much. Even Preston, they're just a cute appliance. They will last you. They've lasted us. We have no problems with them. They've been so good to us. So I'm going to link them down below. What's fun is too, you can pick colors that you want um, that match your kitchen or if you want. I bought my parents a black Smeg Mini kettle. It's so cute. I think it is like four, five cups of water for them to like, drink tea. It is so cute. It's mini. It's tiny. I probably maybe would have got that one because at that time we were in a tiny home. But I'm happy I have the big Smeg because... I make a lot of tea and I would just pop it in the fridge so it's easier, but they even have a mini kettle. It is so tiny and so cute. I'll link that one for you too. But I just wanted to share and talk to you about these appliances that are so cute and you might see them in my kitchen and you might be like, what are those? It's called Smeg. So I'm going to link them down for you below. I'm going to get ready for the day and I'll show you my outfit and tell you what's happening today. I also wanted to share really quick my plant right here. And then I got this at Target. I'm gonna put it up here. So I'm excited about that. I'm gonna put that up and then right here is what I'm gonna, we're gonna get a little makeup stand for me right there. You can hear my dad working in his bike shop. He just got a new bike and he's doing some work to it. So you can hear him working because his shop is there's a gate and right next to us so yeah <laughs> okay I'm gonna change and then I will show you my full outfit in the mirror and I'm gonna I'm gonna get Preston's outfit ready too because we're kind of running a little late I mean time's going by fast so I want to help him out with that okay the Latina in me is coming out, <laughs> making quesadillas. That one's for Preston because he just had a protein bar. Spinach, turkey, and cheese. And mine is just cheese, but it has to be burnt. Preston always laughs at me because I don't use a spatula. I use my fingers. I'm like, when you've grown up with quesadillas your whole life, you literally know, I can't do it with that hand right here. You literally know how to do it with your fingers, you know? Look at that. Oh, that looks so yummy. I can't do it with this hand. Okay, here we go. Looks so yummy. So we are going to head out right now. I'm going to put my goldies on. Kitchen here. I was cleaning up. Have socks on right now. I'm about to put my goldies on. Kind of change purses. Preston's in the shower. You can probably hear him in there. But we're about. I'm about to eat. I put these jeans on because they're higher, so you don't really see my tummy. There we go, there we go, there we go. Um, yes, I'm gonna use, have that blanket on there for the doggies, um, Preston's phone. I'm gonna use my Chloe, Chloe purse. I think my sister's using this one right now. So using that one with the strap, my Goldie's gonna get a jacket. Yeah, I'll show you in the mirror before I head out. It makes me wanna say that every time you drink it. Whoa. <laughs> we got him a white hot chocolate Whoa. and he's so happy. Dang. <laughs> oh, every time. <laughs> we have Miss Stacy. <laughs> Braddock has like five shots in that coffee. Yeah. And Jesse, you got white chocolate. Oh, yeah. Brands can be wired all night. I got a long night ahead. <laughs> <laughs> that drink's supposed to keep him up for at least another eight dollars. Eight hours. Eight dollars <laughs> for eight hours. <laughs> we're headed out and of course it's the gang. That's fine. Wow. That is so good. It's insane. <laughs> Zebra of chocolate. She said, okay. <laughs> Good morning. It is Sunday morning. We are getting ready for church. I finally washed my hair for my haircut. 
and did it myself. <laughs> I curled it a little bit different and I'm actually liking it. They're more like curls and then I just put in the middle, just put my part in the middle so it's not, I mean, you know, my hair's going back, not a straight line in the middle. <laughs> Um, yes, my dress. I have a dress on. I think I got this dress maybe last year. I think it was last year. It's really cute. It has like a summer print to it. It's more baby doll. Then I have um, my shoes. I wore these in Texas, but I'm kind of like not sure about these shoes. The tip of the toe, they're leather. The tip of the toe, it's already like not peeling, but it's like scuffed. So to me, I'm like they're not like perfect so I'm like let's see how much longer I get use out of them but they're real leather so they should be like really good but I think the front of the toes just the leather I guess maybe it scuffs I don't know but I like when shoes last you a long time and these ones it's probably like maybe like 10 wears out of them um I have my Alyssa Danette's bracelets on I want to show you, I did get a new piece in our house yesterday. It is so cute. So remember I was saying I wanted a TV stand to hide everything and everything goes in it. So it looks pretty that I'm going to put the stand that was here in my restroom so I can sit down and do makeup. Well, here we go. Let me show you. We got this stand yesterday. I still have to rework it and everything. Probably going to put those controls in the in inside but this is marble it's real marble so cute i was looking for marble like i really was and then we're gonna get a cord for this right here in a white strip so you don't see that cord so yeah our house is coming together just kind of got to rework a little bit this so it's clean that blue controller is not my vibe right now. Um, but I think it's so cute. So I'm so happy with this. It was a big accomplishment to find this because I wanted marble, a top, real marble on top. So yes, I'm so happy with that. But we are gonna head to church. I have to fill out my dad's Father's Day card, which is right here. Trader Joe's has the cutest card, so I got him this card. I need to fill it out. And then I just got him some gummies. He likes gummies. And then, of course, cash is easy. Got these cookies to take later to my grandparents. But yeah, it's a good Sunday. It's a pretty day out. The sun's out. It's Father's Day. So yeah, we're going to head out probably like in four minutes. And I hope Preston's ready. But I'll kind of take you on with the day. I think we're going to go eat some lunch with my sister and brother-in-law after. And my brother. So I'll keep you posted with the day. We just got out of church. Now we are headed, well, we are just parked. We're eating one of our favorite places called Magoyne's Barbecue. It's like you make your own plates. Plate. Well, and here's the thing though, is that- I think I've shown you guys here on, before on the- You're on only the limited by what you can fit on your plate. So this girl has perfected the art of stuffing as much as you can on one plate she's very good it's so it. good you want all the veggies we get noodles it is so good so i'm going to show you my plate and how it looks and how yummy it is it's a beautiful sunday we just got out of church so i'm going to show you my plate that i make Oh yeah, let's, let's see. Eric puts the town. And look at that. I know it just looks like a pile, but it's a pile of really good stuff. It's Father's Day. Brandon's celebrating Father's Day because of that little gorgeous girl. Let's see Grandpa Frank. I like 
have my Chloe purse. We're going to my grandparents now to celebrate. Hey, Are you selling ice cream? Whew, what a day. We literally just got home. It's 10.30 p.m. We were gone all day. All day. I'm ready to take this dress off. I had it over my shoulders like this all day. Now it's finally here. I want to put my hair up. <laughs> my makeup's like literally... Well, the eyeshadow doesn't look bad, but like it just... I'm ready to wash my face and get ready for a new week. The bed sounds so good right now. So I'm just going to wash my face and um, put my pajamas on and then get in bed. It was a fun day, long day, but it, you know, it's a family fun day, family full day. It's Father's Day, so it was good. Now it's just like, okay, we're ready for a new week. I'm ready to get to work tomorrow, so that's going to be good. I am redoing like my, my restroom. So I have a stand in here now. I'm gonna do my makeup in here this week. So I have to get a couple more things. Like I wanna get a little rug in here, um, a little cuter rug in here. I need to put up, I got this picture at Target. So I need to put this up. It's, um, let's see here, the Walt Art by Dresswold at Studio McGee. So I need to put this up and then I have, um, yeah these towel mounts that hang to the, that will go on the wall. I need to put those two up. So just need to do a couple things in here so it can feel cozy while I get ready. Um, it's nice lighting in here when it's daytime. So that's going to be nice. And then, um, Destiny's going to come and redo some stuff in here too. So that's probably what this week looks like. Um, but yes, yeah, so I'm just going to close the vlog out here and say thank you so much for watching. I will see you on my next vlog, which I'm going to film tomorrow. Um, but yes, yeah, subscribe to this channel. Comment down below if you have any questions. If you have a question for me or if you want me to do a video on a certain item or product, just comment down below. Subscribe so you can stay updated. Um, hit the alert button so you know when a video comes out every Monday. Um, yeah, so I'm gonna get in bed and I'm excited for a new week tomorrow. So thank you for watching and I will see you tomorrow morning. Bye.